flame. True flame, was it? Oh, thank you. Thank you for keeping the place ticking over. True flame. Oh, that's a interesting looking weapon. What's that? Oh my word, it looks like it's from another universe. That's very phantasmal almost. Right, I'm still carrying loads of stuff. Right, how much? Right, I'm not that over encumbered. Lucian, I, I just need to dump some stuff in you. I just want to find this airship. Oh, it's beautiful. Where, how did we not notice this on the approach? Clearly, they saw sense about denying us our edge. Oh, no. The skull cat and Seaman wants it better not be on board. Oh, my. Okay, now that's high. That's high. We did not see this on the approach. We definitely didn't see this on the approach. Why have we got a fish barrel out here? With, a, surprisingly, a lot of fish in it. Okay. Okay. Yep. Hold on to the side. Right, let's... What's... Oh my word, the sword... This sword is so big, I can... It's pommel it just sticks right out. Right, no, I'm getting distracted. What the fact I've got an airship and a... Where did they get a dragon skeleton for... Oh, that... Yes, it looks cool. It looks very, very cool. But the... The value, the cultural significance, the architectural... Oh, just... It's a waste. It, it, it was a waste. It didn't need to be on there. They've, they've ruined... A priceless... 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 Just beyond measure. And the fossilized dragon skeleton. And they just whacked it on the side of a ship for us. Right. I'm climbing aboard. Oh, the Devaveza, did he say it was called? I mean, it seems... Sturdier. Which is a good thing. It seems sturdier than the last airships we've been on. Oh, and we can actually get up to the helm. How do we... Like, he said it was a manual. We're going to have to read that manual cover to cover before we attempt to fly this thing. And I mean all of us. Lucian and Inigo, I, oh, I'll find them later. They went looking in a different direction, but I'm too excited to wait for that. I'm going below deck. Oh, it's roomy. Oh, it's it's so big on the inside. So surprisingly big on the inside. What have we got? There's an alchemy lab. There's an arcane enchanter. What's up here? Oh, this must be the, the engine. Which will also double as a forge, apparently. Oh, they've thought of everything. I think the Khajiits are a lot more ingratiated to me than I realized. I thought they were just kind of taking advantage. But they have outdone themselves. This is magnificent. Because this isn't all going to be standard Thalmor issue. Because the Thalmor are who are building these airships, isn't it? Or galvanizing them. I don't know. But clearly, it's the Kishi. Oh, they got Explorer Society banners on here too. They've outdone themselves. Wait a minute. Well, didn't one of the books that we read say that there was a... A journal. Sanamiya's journal. Hello. Oh. A smuggler's hold. Oh, well, I get why Khajiit rebels might need this, but I don't think I'm going to need this. Sanamiya's journal. Okay, this is it. Sun's dawn, I managed to come across a curious set of ancient schematics for a storeroom near Mazulft, which has a chamber roughly rubbed off the chart, as if an extra chamber was present but hidden. Based on the chart, it looks like the chamber is on the south end of the storeroom. 
Interesting. Or we can put that on display in the Society Guild House. Is that everything down here? I might keep this to myself. I think Inigo will probably notice, but I'm not sure Lucian or anyone else will. And look at all the space we've got. There's, there's room for everyone down here. Is this... Is it open These books aren't owned by anyone, are they? Why would the Dwemer consider a great house? It is considered stealing. Oh, whose books are they? Oh, don't tell me the Explorer Society just came on board and made themselves at home. Now will explain the Dwemer materials and the Dwemer books. A little spider... Right, well, I, I'm not opposed to using my uh, shit, because I suppose it was gifted to me. Right, I'm gonna say it's, I'm gonna say it's mine, and I'm gonna argue with Ori, and it's mine if he tries to say otherwise, because, frankly, we earned it, like Lucian, Inigo, and I. I'm sort of the boss, and how are you gonna share an airship? You know, I'm, I'm the boss. That makes me the captain. That's our treasury. Wait, is this magically linked to the safe house? Somehow. That's... I'm not even going to ask how they did that. Ooh. Right, this must be where we plot our course. Plot course, White Run, Markarth, Falkreath. We could go to any of the major holds. No way back to elsewhere, I see. Or rather, no. No destination. I mean, I suppose if they got caught flying this over here and they got boarded, they wouldn't want to give away where their base was on the map of elsewhere. That would be catastrophic for them. But, okay, Manual of the Devaveza. Very good of them to document all this. The Devaveza is... The Devaveza airship is a highly advanced piece of Ultima technology. A conglomeration of classic nautical construction with advanced Dwemer science and Ultima magic. This aerial fortress will make for a perfect central base of operations for all your adventures. To use the ship, simply plot your course using the maps in the cabin. Then activate the ship's wheel on deck and the ship will be flown to your destination. If you stray from your ship or forget where you have docked, the fast travel map marker will be available, which will get you back on deck. I don't know what a fast travel marker is. I think that might be some magics we don't know and can't utilize. Some places you dock will utilize the gangplank, while others will require use of the rope ladder on the opposite side. Excellent. Okay, we're going to have to read that more in depth. Clockwork Castle. We can plot a course to the Clockwork Castle and not have to rely on teleportation, which frankly is terrifying. We, I suppose we could always go back there now, actually, now that it's trivial to get back. We might have to do that in case we've forgotten anything, which I don't think we have. I'd better go find the guys. This is amazing. I'm not going on a test flight without them. Let's get the guys together. Let's... I don't know. It'll make getting back to the College of Winterhold a lot easier, because that's on the opposite end of Skyrim. We're on the west, they're on the east. I... While I think about it, I did notice there's only one bed. There, like, there's ham plenty of hammocks below decks, but there's only one captain's cabin. And as I say, I'm the boss. That makes me the cap. <gasps> I've got my own room on my own edge. Oh my word. I'm just overwhelmed. I don't know what to say. It's kind of them to come all this way. I wasn't there before, was it? They moved it. What's that painting gun? Hello? Orion? What? 
Wait. Where are the chests? This is... What? The... What? Orion? It's going to take days to clean this up. Days to clean it up? Good There's luck. a body over there. One of our guards is dead. What happened? Oh, you, excuse me, it's beat. What, what happened here? Uh, we've been robbed. I, I just can't right now. You had best speak to Avram. <clears throat> don't, don't you... You can't Do even me. Soon. You can even. You, you must, Avram. It's, oh, God. Right. Uh, robbed? When we say robbed? I was only gone a minute. Oh, this is worse than when I came back and we were haunted. Oh, no. Oh, they've smashed and grabbed everything. I, was, I wasn't out on deck that long. Yeah, Avram, what the... What in oblivion happened here? I'm so sorry. The museum has been robbed, and I'm afraid that I am at least partly to blame. I can see it's been robbed. How how are you to partly to blame for any of that? Like, I mean, I know you're like head of security. You, look, you owe me an explanation. What happened? Just go into detail. What happened? Yes. You see, I haven't been exactly completely forthcoming with you about my past. And sadly... It has caught up with me. What? Before coming here to Skyrim, I was part of a group of brigands back in Hammerfell who operated in Weston, Bangorai. One day we were on a job. We were posing as guards for a caravan destined for High Rock, planning to turn on it when we reached the wastes. Only, when we got there, we were ambushed. The entire job was a ploy to catch us and put an end to our banditry once and for all. That's how I lost my eye. Only a few of us escaped and fled into the hills of Dragontail Mountains. Bleeding and alone. I still to this day don't know how I survived up there. I was found just outside of Heldorn by a missionary who took me in and nursed me back to health. I swore to Tohwaka right then and there that I would turn my life around and live a just and honest life from that day forward. So you lied to us! So, I left it all behind and came here to Skyrim to start again. But, uh, it seems that those from my past have followed me here. I tried to fight them off, but they knocked out poor Orien and overpowered me and the other guards. They tied me up and made off with everything. I suppose they left me alive in hopes of me taking the fall for the robbery. <laughs> I suppose it would be appropriate, given my failure. Oh, you're going to be gang blame on this, all right? You you decided to live a just and honest life, so your first thought was, I'm going to lie about my credentials, make no mention of my my brigand past and my, my shady connections that I have. You've brought this on us. You've made us a target. I should call the guard right now, but you're not getting off that easy. You're going to help get all of this back. If you used to run with them, and if they caught up with you, you should know where they're going, right? You should you should have an idea of where to find them, of what they're going to do, what their next move will be. You mean, after all my failings, you are willing to allow me to help you? I no. I may have some ideas of where they went. There were a few jobs we had which brought us into Skyrim, and we had a couple of small holdouts back in the day. I would think that a good place to start would be... Windcaller's Pass. It's a collapsed cave that once ran through the Great Mountain where we would hold up when the heat got too hot. It's remote enough that we would lay low if needed, and stash loot there before gathering up and departing for Hammerfell. Oh, God. Right. This isn't a, oh, I'm letting you help us. Oh, I forgive you. This is a, you're helping us get everything back. This is no measure of forgiveness. Whether or not you even begin to qualify for consideration to be forgiven for this mess completely depends on whether we get everything back because we've lost everything right now. You've ruined us. Oh, got five minutes and we are leaving. Be ready. I'll be waiting here. Just let me know. 
better grab some food or something. Or some potions. Probably going to be getting in a lot of fights, I imagine. And you got their blood on your hands as well. Oh, right. Guys? Where did, where did the guys go? Well then, I'm glad none of us were hurt in the burglary. I'm kind of amazed none of us noticed it happened and were able to stop it. I'm not pointing fingers. I didn't notice it either. You know, I'm not accusing anyone. Except Avram, our head guard, who brought this down upon us. And my wrath will know no bounds until we have retrieved every single relic that's been pinched from our museum. Okay? Good thing that airship showed up. It's a shame Rakis has left already. I could have used his help. He could have repaid the favor more than the airship. But we do have something quick and nimble to catch up with those thieves. Now, Shirley, I appreciate that you're not a big fan of elven armor, but you've put some on anyway. Thank you. Oh, you've beat me to the bottom of the stairs. You understand how dire our situation is. Right, Orion, how are you doing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You okay? No, he can't Until even right now. Right, supplies, supplies. Potions. We need all our potions. Extreme healing, potion of healing, minor healing, plentiful healing... Ultimate healing. Vigorous healing. We are going on a bit of a rampage, I must admit. Uh, what else do we need? Poisons. That's my caustic and fire oils. They're coming. Paralysis. Why not? Sojourn gem ingots. Leather building supplies. Oh, do we not have a scrolls? Section? Right, I need, I need to run back upstairs. Quickly. I need the scrolls. Hey. Sorry, sorry, Inigo. We've got our, our staff. Ah, oh, museum staff. Oh, the poor souls of... They put their lives in Avram's hands. This is, this is what really angers me. The relics can be recovered. We'll hunt them down. We've got the airship. But those people's lives aren't coming back. Unless somebody knows some magic that I don't. Right, scrolls. Scrolls. What? What have we done with our scrolls? Yeah, scrolls. Uh, apocalypse. Probably. All ended in the area. Burn. Probably. Uh, battle died. Yes. Blizzard. Why not? Conjure bear totem. Yes. Fireballs. We've got a staff of that. Uh, scroll of hysteria. Okay. Yeah. Those, those guards... Who protected the museum, protected our patrons, protected the guests, and ourselves. They put their lives in Avram's hands, and his deceit and lack of honesty has cost them everything. Right. And the Explorer Society. It's a good thing I came through them and already knew they are all right. Right then, you. So how did they manage to get in and overtake you? Well, uh, let me think a moment. I'm still in a bit of a haze from the ordeal. You've had time for me to get I ready. I they came in separately throughout the day and spread out across the entire museum. They never really interacted during the day, and some of them even left, but apparently must have climbed to the balcony entrance and were let back in and then hid. Another must have laid low in the cellar or armory when we weren't looking. Eventually, all the other patrons left for the day, and it appeared that the last of them was walking out when they suddenly barred the front door. Before I could fully draw my sword, one of them appeared behind me and knocked me on the head. Everything started spinning, and I heard a yell and a sudden groan from Orien in the office. Someone shot him with a dart laced with a sleeping draught. I saw several figures wandering about, but my vision was still pretty unclear. But they were only there for about uh, 20 minutes or so, I'd say. 20 minutes? Eventually, I regained my senses to find myself tied up in the main hall. But by that time, they were gone. Was I gone that long? The other guards, they weren't so lucky. I heard fighting in various halls, which quickly died down. Afterwards, I didn't find any of them left alive. 
how could they have cleared this place out in less than half an hour? I mean, it must have been less than five minutes. I was only gone for that long, wasn't I? Was I gone for longer? Did I, like, trip and hit my head and not notice? They always were quite efficient once a plan was in place. They aren't your typical smash-and-grab robbers. It looks that way. Oh, how, how did they even get everything out in the first place? I would have weighed, weighed of all of us down if we tried to carry it between us. Just how many of them were there? They didn't. After Orion came around, he untied me, and we quickly moved to investigate the situation. Orion says that they employed some forms of magic. Magic? Evidently, they had strong feather enchantments and moved large amounts at a time up through the Hall of Heroes' upper balcony and around the back patio of the safe house and used some levitation charms to toss the items over the railing where they slowly fell to the water below where some of the thieves were waiting to receive them and send them to a waiting cart on the shore. But the airship... Since it was dark, they were able to slip around the building without drawing any attention. How did they get it all past me? Oh, I'm just to blame and as blind as everyone else. They're probably just floating around when I was... St staring at the nice new furnishings in the air. Right, okay, we need to go. We need to leave. Excellent. Right, so wind caller pass. Are you coming? That's it. There's no time to sit around. Airship time. Right, who fancies a fight? Oh, actually, no, that's not putting any at risk. They're trained killers. Let's not risk your lives. I'm being irrational if I expect the Explorers Society members to come and join us on this... this quest. Right, you four on board. The five of us, we're going to have to do it ourselves. You know, the, the Explorer Society, they're scholars. They're scholars and archaeologists. They are not warriors. No. Well, no time like the present for a test flight. Shadows of the past. Investigate Windcaller Pass. Signs of robbers. Where's that? That is close to Whiterun. So if we take the airship to Whiterun, we can park up around there and what? Just leg it the rest of the way, maybe? It's our best bet. Right. Course plotted. Is, is that all we need? Right, hang on. Let's try the wheel. And... The Devaveza can be docked at several key locations around Tamriel, including the Hold Capitals. Each journey on board the Devaveza will take four hours to complete. As you continue on your adventures, more stops will be unlocked. Oh, here we go. Right, other locations. At uh, Skyrim. Here we go. White Run. We're heading to White Run. Perhaps we could pick up the pace a little. My boot. <clears throat> oh. Careful. Ease it in. Ease it in, gentlemen and ladies. Careful. No sign of. Thieves in a carriage running around with our relics and artifacts. Alright, easy does it. Easy then. I'm amazed at the patience of the guards that have not started shooting at us. They must have seen one of these before. Oh my word. Right, well that was something. If it wasn't so... If there wasn't so pressing circumstances, I might have even enjoyed that. I am in your way. I am sorry. No, no, it's a narrow ladder. You've nothing to apologize for. Right. Uh, excuse me, sir. You you see that airship? Uh, it's ours. It belongs to the Dragonborn the Gallery. I, I've got to run. I've, we've got to go. Just, it's fine. Just remember where we parked. It almost feels like a bad idea leaving the airship that we've just stolen essentially from the Thalmor out on display. I mean, it's... Oh, it's, it's been decorated differently, but they're gonna know. Surely they're gonna know. Right. 
Uh, it looks like without Brewster, we might have a fair bit of running to do. However, what would have been like an eight-hour carriage ride or an eight-hour horse ride, we've actually done it in half the time, so I think we can spare 20 minutes running around. You stop humming. You, your humming permissions have been rescinded. You've no humming rights. The only words out of your mouth I want to hear are, ah, I found all of the relics, or ah, we need to go this way. Or yes, actually, I know where we need to do and what we need to be and the bloody blah. Breathe. Deep breaths. We will get it all back. We've got Inigo, Lucien, myself, Shirley, and we do have Avram. We will see if he's as good as a fighter as he makes himself out to be. Because Lord knows, if we don't get everything back, he's going to need to be a good fighter to save him from my wrath. Oh, hello. Hello. The master has gone, but Dervenin will find him. Dervenin should not have gone. Dervenin? Madam, are you okay? The master has gone, but Dervenin will find him. Dervenin should not have gone. Oh, look. Really, we should usher her back to town, but we don't have time. Oh. oh, God, I'm sorry. Sorry, we don't have time. We've got priceless relics in the process of being stolen. You can see our airship from here. There's going to be really no hiding where we are. Ooh! Wolf! Wolf! Thank you! Grandma. Got an awful, awful lot of support right now. Right, where is this place, Avram, that you said they might have gone? Because if they saw the, the airship at the gallery. I didn't really think about that. If they saw the airship and now they see the airship on the horizon, they're going to know that we're on their trail. If we even are in the right place. Was it this way? It was a place called Windcaller Pass, wasn't it? Oh, leave us alone, wolves. Come on. Come on, everyone. Just ignore them. We have more important things to worry about than mad people, as much as I'd love to help. And walls. All right, this is it then. Yes? I kind of thought you'd give us a little more support than simply being here for the ride. Given that it's you obscuring your past that's to blame for all of this. Yes, this is the place. Be cautious. Alright. I suppose be cautious means pull your weapons back out. Oh, hello! Oh. Right. That's my sword! Oh, forget it! Careful! This is a tight space, and there's a lot of us here. And, oh, there we go. Is that all of them? I see a painting. Is this us? There, some of the relics are here. Only some. I recognize the sword. There's the relic replica of the dragon stone. Right. That's not everything, though. Right. Gang, split up. Look for clues. Oh, I found a clue. Once you manage to get out of solitude with a hull, make sure you find the darkest, deepest hole you can keep it in until things die down. We'll make our way to Eagleman's Rest and get some of the loop moving over the mountains right away for home. There's so much of it, we can't possibly hope to move it all at once. So I'll be here for a time. Engelman's, Engelman's Rest. Right, Avram? Do you know where this Engelman's Rest is? I found this note. Oh, good. Yes, 
Engelman's arrest. I know where that is. Jalal? Jalal himself is here. Jalal? That isn't good. Who is Jalal and why isn't this good? Jalal is the leader of the group of brigands I was with. And if he's here, we can be sure that Engelman's rest will be anything but hospitable. Joy. By the sound of it, they already have a caravan bound for Hammerfell with some of the artifacts. We should move quickly to the pass near Falkriath before they make it out of Skyrim. Then we can double back to Engelman's rest. I'll scout ahead and meet you there. Is that a good idea? I think I'd much rather you stay with us right now, because you could even be in on all of this. Right. So, let's check the map. So, the path near Falkreath. Stop the caravan before it can reach Skyrim's border. And that's Alexi's key, so... That's quite a journey as well. Right, I say we go back to the Devaveza and we fly over the mountains to Falkreath. That is going to save us far more time than having to go all the way around these mountains. Right, let's have a quick run, see if we can find anything else that we should be grabbing onto. Does this lead anywhere else? Oh, and it's a hunter at a dead end. Right. No time to be thorough. Let's get back to the airship. Avram's going to scout ahead. Supposedly. And we're going to have to... We should make sure he isn't alone for too long. 